right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today doing what I do, just talking about uh, vape nonsense like that. What I have to talk to you about today is a mechanical mod. All right. Uh, well, this right here is the Zombie by Ritual Machine mechanical mod broken down to basically all of its pieces. So this is a hybrid style device, and this is the stainless steel version. The hybrid meaning that the top cap is this. It means that whatever atomizer you're using uh, gets, when it gets plugged on, where is my freaking atomizer? Why does this happen? <laughs> when it gets plugged on, it's going to be making direct contact with your battery. So when you look at your atomizer, this is the Doge atomizer. What you want to do is make sure that that contact is low. Do you see how this, uh, this bottom contact on the atomizer is protruding just a little bit? What you want to avoid at all costs is to have that be recessed in any way because what's going to be happening is your atomizer is going to be directly touching your battery. And if it grounds out on your battery, that is going to be a bad, bad scene. But let's get back to the mod real fast. Very, very simple minimalistic design on here. Otherwise, it's just a very clean stainless steel tube. They do have the Ritual Machine logo on there. One of the great things about this device is the switch. This is a magnetic switch in here. It just feels nice. It's got a reverse threaded locking ring so that you can lock it like that unlock it like that and the best thing the best thing is the way that you adjust for battery rattle so you use it you do it using the switch so if I keep turning this switch do you see the center contact going up and down it's subtle but it happens out in out in that's how you adjust for battery rattle which I think is uh, I think is just brilliant. It doesn't give you a whole lot of adjustment, meaning that if you have something like the Tugboat version 2 atomizer, you're not you're going to you're going to end up with a gap because this can only move so far. But for something like this, something like the Doge, something I know has a, a far enough center pin that I can use that in a hybrid style device, then you're going to have plenty of room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to my atomizer. And this is how it works. It's just this simple. You attach that hybrid top cap to your atomizer. When you look at it, you want to see your contact. That's all you want to see poking out the bottom is your contact. So I'm going to put this switch on the bottom. And it takes a little bit of uh, fiddling, but you get your you get that on there. You make sure that is out and that is all the way open, just like that. It's fantastic. I'm going to put this battery in here, and then I'm going to connect these threads, these hybrid threads, to the mod itself. And what this does is it creates a very, very low voltage drop as well as, oh, just a very, very clean lines on the mod, in my opinion. So if we want to take up for that battery rattle, there's a little bit of rattle going on in there. We turn the switch. Turn it. Turn it. Oh, oh, we turn it. Don't use the lock ring. Just use the switch, don't use the lock ring. So that's the throw that we ended up with. No gaps. Additionally up here, there's no gaps. And I know that I can press this and it will fire. Um, with the exception, like I said, of the Tugboat version 2 that has that extra, extra long center post. This has worked fantastic with basically every atomizer I've put on it. Um, I was previously rocking it with the Patriot version 2. Don't mind the juice. That's uh, that's that's juice marks on there. That's that's what that is. That's that's juice. I'll clean this all up and make it look nice and shiny for the picture on the thumbnail. Don't you worry. I've been predominantly using it with the Tugboat and the Patriot version 2, both of which fit on here, look nice and clean, work really well. It's just a nice clean looking mechanical mod and it's great. The button is nice. I love the way that you adjust it with the switch. You can just lock this, won't fire unlock this fires uh, I have not got this stuck in the up or down position um, I have a feeling this zombie hybrid mechanical mod is going to go into my favorite things playlist um, just because I like using it so so much it's such a small profile 
It's just small and I dig it. So there you go. Now let's get back out to normal view and let us vape this. So yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of up close time here with the zombie by Ritual Machine, performing very well with that Doge atomizer that Twisted Mess has built those sweet fused Clapton coils. I've rewicked this a bunch and uh, it's, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the Doge before, but now it's uh, because of those coils, I think it's becoming one of my one of my favorites. I just love using it. The performance has been just spectacular. Um, yeah, it's it is what it is. And and what I like about the zombie is how minimal it is. Um, it's just a nice tube. You know what I mean? And it's got a, a little minimalistic graphics on here. You know what I mean? And it's got this this little adjustable switch on here, and you can lock it. Oh, and it doesn't fire. And you can unlock it. Oh and you can't hear it, but I promise you that it is firing. I've really, really enjoyed using this, and I like it because it's so small, and that is due to the hybrid. Now, there's certain precautionary measures you're going to want to take, and I talked about this in the up close, but your atomizer needs to have a protruding center pin. If your atomizer is flush or has a recessed pin or something like that, do not 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 use it with a hybrid style device because your atomizer right now is making a direct contact with the battery when your atomizer is making a direct contact with the battery your voltage drop is very very low and all you have to worry about is the contact in the switch thankfully the contact in this switch is a solid copper contact so the only place i was able to find these was over on vaporev.com and i'll post a link in the description but it says manufactured by ritual machine in southern california constructed from solid stainless steel it's a mechanical device magnetic bottom firing switch reverse threaded locking ring solid copper contacts fda approved why why fda approved heat resistant polymer insulator why did you put fda approved in there I don't like that for some reason. Hybrid style top cap, 22 millimeter diameter, laser engraved zombie emblem on the battery tube. Uh, you can get it lightly brushed stainless steel, and that's that's what this is. This is the lightly brushed stainless steel. Um, one thing that's appealing to me about mech mods is their minimalistic style. You can get a whole lot of power in a much smaller package than you used to be able to. And I just like the clean lines of this device. I like the switch. I like that you're able to adjust for battery rattle by, by spinning the switch, by adjusting the switch. I really like the locking ring. I have not got it stuck in the up or down position, which is kind of always my, you know, my benchmark. Like if I get the stuck the switch or the the locking ring stuck, I'm like, ugh, that sucks. And uh, I haven't got this one stuck in the up or down position. It's easy to use. The only thing. The only thing you have to watch out for is that center post on your atomizer. Make sure it's long. Make sure it's protruding. I don't want anybody getting, you know, a device like this and having it short out on them. That would be uh, that would be that would be bad. That would be a non-good thing that happens. Vape budget hands are they needed? They are always needed, no matter what you're buying. Uh, Vape Rev is selling these, and they are currently out of stock for one hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, uh, that's not that's not crazy. 180 bucks. Um, one of my favorite mech mods of all time was the uh, the Titan by VHO, and they sold that for 170 bucks. And I felt like that was a great deal for that particular mech mod. I personally feel like this is a great deal for this particular mech mod. And now I'm trying to decide, knowing what I know, vaping what I vaped, would I pay 180 dollars for this? Oh, the answer is I would absolutely pay $180 for this device. I think it's just great. And I don't, you know, uh, I got this at ECC. I don't know the guys from Ritual Machine. I, you know, they just handed this off to me and said, hey, if you want to do a YouTube video, then do a YouTube video. And I'm doing that. Knowing what I know and feeling this and vaping it and using it with all sorts of atomizers and feeling that switch and that locking ring and the adjustment, I really like everything about this and I would absolutely pay $180 for this device. I don't feel like that's uh, completely ridiculous. You know what I mean? There's mech mods that are under a hundred bucks and there's mech mods that are over a hundred bucks and this falls into the over a hundred bucks. I absolutely like it. Now I'm rambling. I will post links in the description to the vape rev site where you can pick this up, but that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, let's keep on vaping.